Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the second in a series of video tutorials on how to create a game for iOS and Android devices in Unity 5. So this episode we're going to look at a couple of different things in Unity. Uh, textures for example, we're going to look at manipulating objects and just a couple of different things. So uh, for those of you who actually want to see where this game is going and where it gets to in the end, then if you head over to our website uh, link will be in the description and if you click on games you'll be taken to one of our other websites where you can download uh, a game called keep flying this is what we want it to end up being like so if you want to head over there now and download it for free uh, it's actually um, a pc version of the game we're gonna build in this tutorial uh, so yeah if you play that you'll see where we want to get to so, last time we brought in this uh, cube, we named it as background. So what I want this to be is kind of like um, a simple background uh, of space with stars or whatever. And to make it look like that, we need to bring in a texture. So to make everything down here neat and tidy, right click on assets, go to create and click folder. Let's call this textures. Head into that textures folder and I'm going to bring in this image here it's called sky background so you can drag and drop that straight into unity down here. Take just a second to think about it and it'll show up down here. If you want to use this texture you can head to our website and click on downloads and assets and then make sure you click on this one just here and you'll be able to download any assets that we use in this series. So, there are two ways you can apply this to um, this object. You can either do the really, really simple way of just drag and drop. And you'll notice if you do that, you will have this folder here suddenly appear called Materials. Now, I would recommend this being the best way to do it. Whether you want to create a material to put on here or not, you're probably better off at this point dragging and dropping straight onto there because it will automatically create this material. So let's play around with some settings on this material. Uh, firstly, let's go to tiling down here. If we change this to 2 by 2, you'll notice that the image here has changed on this cube. The reason that's happened now is because we've set the tiling to 2x2, so two of those images are going across and two of those images are going down. So at a tiling of 1x1, one one, it simply places that texture image straight onto this object. Having it tiled 2x2, two two, it puts four of them on there. So if you were to have, for example, 3x3, three three, it would place nine copies on there. Uh, so I want to have it as 2x2 two two just for now. I'm going to go to this main camera and I'm going to press play and just see what it looks like in the game scene. So I think that looks fine. I don't think we need to worry too much about that for now. Um, obviously you can move your camera up and down. You'll notice down here in the camera preview it changes a little so you can see whereabouts the camera is looking at your object. So I'm going to bring the camera to there. Now we're more than likely going to increase the size of this particular um, object at a later point. What we're going to do is, as this is going to be um, sort of random to an extent, we need to always have a simple starting position. So the first tiny section of the game is always going to be the same, but then after that it's going to be completely random. So next thing to do is we're going to create a new object and we're going to create our simple little rocket which will be our playable character. This is where we'll really get into coupling and parenting objects. So if you go to game object, 3D object and let's go on capsule. You'll see this capsule is kind of small so let's double click on it over here and we'll zoom in. So Taking your cross arrows there, let's move it this way. 
bring it towards us a bit more. Let's bring it upwards. Let's double click again so we can focus. And let's face our big background again. So let's play a little with rotation. Let's have uh, the rocket facing to the right. So we need to rotate on the Z or Z axis. You can either do that by typing in the number here, or if you hover your mouse over the Z or Z, you can see that you can switch it around like that. So you can hold down your left mouse button and move in different directions and it will twist. So we want this to be uh, minus 90 or 270. They both work the same way. So let's have minus 90. And now we can move that over there. So if we press play again, hopefully we should see our camera and the beginning of our rocket in the scene. And we do. So it doesn't look particularly like a rocket. And to be honest, I'm not going to worry too much about it looking like a rocket. Because it may waste time. But let's quickly uh, go into game object, 3D object and cube. So let, firstly, sorry, let's rename our capsule and let's call this rocket base. Uh, let's rename this cube as um, wing zero one. And let's create this sort of as a wing. So if we drag into this sort of position, and let's use this icon up here to resize our cube. So we can shrink it or pull it. You can make it as big or as small as you want. So let's make it about there. So it's nice and thin. And now let's rotate. So we can use this tool to rotate. And you'll see you have a few different lines on there. You've got the green line, red line, blue line. They match up to the X, Y, and Z. So take the blue line, which is the Z or Z axis, and you can twist it around. You'll notice over there in the uh, inspector pane and transform, this moves. So you could use that as much as you want, twist it however much you want. But for now, I'm going to put it as a nice, steady 90 degrees. And I'm going to change the rotation on the X, sorry, the Y, um, I think to 45. Actually, no, probably 35. I'll give it a nice kind of, well, a better look. So I'm going to head back to resize and I'm going to shrink it just a little more. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to couple it to rocket base. Like so. So that's simple drag and drop onto rocket base. So if you click that arrow now, that uh, stays there, your object stays there, but it's coupled to rocket base there. So if we were to move rocket base itself, the wing would also move. If we were to move just the wing, then just the wing would move, not the rocket base. So let's place that object into position. So if you pan your camera around using the right mouse button, you can move everything into place. So I'm going to bring this up to about there, bring it out and then inwards to about there. So let's have a look how that looks on the side. Yep, that looks fine. So as I say, the purpose of this is to uh, explain a couple of things within Unity, for example, parenting. But here is the duplication again. If you remember from the last episode when we duplicated the directional light or control, Press D, and then you can bring this outwards as a duplicate. So let's rotate this now by 90 degrees. Oops. In fact, I think we're probably better off using this tool. In fact, there probably is a better way of doing this. And what we're going to do is, in fact, actually, I think we'll resize. We might bear off doing that. 
So even though it's identical to this one, you can always resize like that. And then you just move it into position because it's a bit more symmetrical. OK, that'll do. So I say I'm not spending too much time making this perfect. You can spend as much time as you want making this look as nice as you want. So I'm going to right click, uh, rename and just have this as wing zero two. So the next thing we want to do is, um, we're, although we're not going to get into it at the moment, we're using colliders. If you go to game object, go to 3 object, three the object, apologies, and uh, let's have cube. Let's bring this cube a bit more towards our ship. About there. And I go into it, extend it a little. So as I say, you can either use this tool or you can do it manually over here. So let's have the scale on the X axis as two and bring it forward just slightly. Now right click, uh, rename, and let's call this the rocket. This will be our collider for things in the future. It may not be the best way, but for now, for doing everything simple, it, it is the easiest and quickest and best way of doing it. And just untick mesh renderer. And this object now exists, but we see right through it as there's no mesh on it. So then let's bring the rocket base, drag and drop onto the rocket. So next thing, let's quickly color our rocket, give it some uh, look rather than just the plain old gray. So in your materials down here, right click, Create and click on material down here. And let's call this rocket color 001. And over here in Albedo, you can either add a texture there, which we may do at a later point, but you can just select a color here. So let's have this as a kind of a dark, reddy, sort of gray color. And I'm going to quickly just apply straight to there. Now you can either change the metallic feel of it. So you see if you slide that along, it looks more metallic. The smoothness makes it smoother. You can see that doesn't look too bad. That looks OK. Um, things like normal map and height map, we don't need to worry about at all when we're dealing with just a simple color especially on this rocket, but we may get into that at a later point. It just gives a bit more detail to our rocket. So down here, if you hold control and press D again, it actually works down here too, not just in your scene. So let's change this to, I don't know, a black kind of color. And let's apply that color to the wings. It's not the best looking rocket in the world. You can spend as much time as you want doing whatever you want to it. If we go onto the rocket, uh, sorry, the rocket base now, and let's change the size. So let's have our scale. Um, should we change? No, we don't want it thick, do we? Uh, sorry, let's change the Y. Let's change the Y to one. You'll see the rocket becomes kind of long. It looks a bit more rockety now. It doesn't look so bad. So the reason that's happened is because it is within this, the rocket base here. If you were to take this out of there and then do it, uh, I'm not too sure it would work. Because it kind of warps things a little when it's parented. But that's the kind of look that I'd like to go for. So we'll, we'll stick with that for now. Um, let's press play and have a quick look. That'll do just fine. Uh, OK, so last thing we'll do is save. So you can either save your scene within this main asset window here, or you could create a new folder. I personally tend to just save straight in this asset folder. I find it a little bit easier. So you can either go to File and Save, as you would expect. Uh, save scene it is. Or you can hold Control, press S you'll be presented with this here. 
So let's just save this as main flight scene and then save. So eventually we'll end up with a few different scenes, things like um, how to play, a main menu, um, different things like that. We'll see where we get to, but you'll have a couple of scenes here. Um, in the next episode, we'll be looking at a couple of different things, probably a bit of scripting. We'll look at um, collisions, a um, couple more textures and see where we get to. And hopefully, maybe at the end of next episode, we may have um, a playable version, a very simple playable version of the game. So until next time, uh, maybe check out our other series, have a look at different things you can do, different um, games you can make and play around in your scene and just exploring Unity. Oh, thank you very much for watching.